Schools across the Cape Fear have released their back to school supply lists with some year round schools already back in session and others preparing for the new school year to kick off next month. But supply lists are looking a bit different this time to accommodate inflation and changes brought by the pandemic. WAY Celeste Smith has the story. Penderley School in Pender County is a year round school that had its first day back on Monday. The school welcomes students back by having a majority of their necessary school supplies like notebooks, pencils and paper purchased through the school's budget in an effort to ease the financial burden on parents. You know, I have two children of my own that attend school here and it has been a big weight off to see the smaller supply list and not have to purchase quite as much this year because other things are so expensive right now. Jenny Trito is a parent and an ESL teacher at Penderley School and says supplies in highest demand this year are headphones for Chromebooks, tissue and cleaning products. I think it's definitely shifted um, with COVID. Obviously, we needed a lot more cleaning and sanitizing materials in the room. So that's changed a little bit. And then the move towards technology has kind of reduced the need for some of those traditional school supplies, especially in the upper grades like paper and pencils. Um, but we are needing some things to help with technology. Communities and Schools of the Cape Fear is a nonprofit also hoping to ease the burden for students in need of supplies in New Hanover and Pender counties and is now accepting donations at multiple locations in both counties with its Stuff the Bus campaign officially underway. This this year, I mean, we've never needed it so much between the remnants of the pandemic, the inflation, the cost of everything going up. Um, our goal is always to serve as many kids as possible, but this year it really counts. Residents in the Brunswick County community, Compass Point, are also pitching in to help cut costs for students as they get ready to head back to school. They plan to hold the neighborhood's fourth annual backpack bash with the goal of collecting 1,000 backpacks and 9,000 packages of school supplies for communities and schools, Brunswick County. Ten porch drop-offs within the community in different sections and these homes open up their porches to backpacks and people just drop off backpacks during the couple weeks prior to the bash and after the bash. Judy and I have just been so awed at the generosity in this community and wanting to help the kids. We think it's pretty impressive and we're so proud of Compass Point. In New Hanover County, Celeste Smith, WWAY News.